train will fall there after we've torn up the tracks. Ah. It shouldn't be more than 20 this one we, the crash. They wanted us lean mean. I remember Justin when he, he sent this email that said to do when I first got the film. And what um, was on the list? Uh, I had to work on a cattle station. I had to work with horses. I had to uh, uh, write every day. And then there was, um, there was a picture of a rock climber and you could see every muscle in his back. And he was like, that's what I want. And so that's kind of, because, you know, it's as much as, it's not just to sort of look fit, it's changing yourself like that demands a commitment which commits you to the role. And, and But then the aesthetics of Ned is that the truth of, as we're sort of playing with truth in the film as to who and what this man really was, we're playing upon accepted facts or kind of assumptions about the man. And one of which is that he was a sort of symbol of masculinity in Australia in quite a traditional sense. And you know, I want to talk to you about him because he is a polarizing figure. Where mm. do you land on old Ned Kelly? To be honest, I mean, it's sort of a bit of a politician's answer. History is told by the winners, in inverted commas, right. and they dictate a narrative which becomes accepted. And who's to say that narrative was true in the first place? And also these narratives which become factual, which get put down and held up to be something other than human something sort of separate they're the opinions and experiences of people who have lived as who are as complex as you and I who have all the sort of insecurities or passions or wants that you and I might have which will affect how we see a situation and so therefore like how sort of how true can a history be to an extent right and that's, that's sort true. of what is this is exploring you know without giving a fixed answer because I don't know if there is a fixed answer 